This is the voltage form of the motor equation that we derived previously. If we consider the case where the motor is at steady state, so the current isn't changing, we can drop this term out and focus on this part. And if we rearrange this equation using our definition of the torque constant, we can write it as omega is equal to 1 over the torque constant times the voltage minus the resistance over the torque constant squared times the torque. Okay. So if we use a constant voltage uh, across our motor, then this term here will just be a constant. And then the relationship between the speed and the torque is determined by this slope, r over k squared, kt squared. So we can draw that as what's known as the speed torque curve. And it looks like this, where the maximum, this is the speed axis, and I'll use SI units, so the angular velocity of the motor shaft is in radians per second. And this is the torque axis, and the units are Newton meters in SI units. So if we take a look at the maximum speed that's reached when the torque output here is zero, then we just get V over KT. So we plug in zero for torque, and that's our maximum speed. I'll call that omega naught. This is also called the no load speed. No load because the output shaft is not creating any torque. And then down here we have stall, so that's where the output shaft is prevented from moving. Perhaps we grab onto it and prevent it from moving. And in that case, this is equal to zero, omega is equal to zero. So that means that we've got the stall torque here is equal to the torque constant times V over the resistance. Okay. So this is the maximum torque we can get out of our motor for the given voltage. This is the maximum speed we can get out of the motor. If we were to increase the voltage V here by, say, a factor of 2, then this would just slide out by a factor of 2. This would slide up by a factor of 2, and our speed torque curve would look the same. It's just scaled to be larger. Um, now, while this is the entire operating range, if we operate at constant voltage, we can operate anywhere in this triangle uh, within that voltage. But we don't want to, say, stay at stall torque for long periods of time. So if we prevent the output shaft from rotating and we keep powering the motor, well, we know that the output power of the motor, remember it's torque times omega, we know it's zero. Um, so we're not getting any any energy or any power here in the torque. So it's all going to the heating up the coils. And so we know here that not only is this our largest torque, but it's also our largest current. Because remember that the torque is just proportional to the current. So here we have a large torque. We have a large current. That means we have a lot of ohmic heating. Remember that the power dissipated by the coils due to heating up due to resistance is I squared R. So we've got a lot of heating there. So if we just sit there for a long period of time, the motor is going to overheat, the wire insulation will melt, and we'll have failure. So we don't want to stay out here where there's high current for long periods of time. So for that reason, we usually define a maximum continuous torque. And it's safe to operate continuously with torques anywhere in this region, but not out here. Okay? So often this is called the uh, nominal torque, torque nominal. And the corresponding speed here is called the nominal speed. And this is called the nominal operating point. And everywhere to the left of this 
vertical line is called the continuous operating region. And everything to the right of this line is called the intermittent operating region. So it's okay to operate occasionally in this area, but not continuously. Whereas anywhere over here, it's okay to operate continuously. So this nominal operating point, if we take the torque here times the angular velocity, that gives us a power. And this is the uh, nominal mechanical power of the motor. So if you buy a motor and it says it's a 10 watt motor, what it's referring to is the power you're getting when you're sitting at this point, the nominal torque and the nominal speed. 